Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to show you some science magic tricks as I explore refraction, the bending of light. Let's check it out. Most of the time, you'll hear people say that light travels in straight lines. The reason you can see me just now is because light is reflecting off of me and travelling in a straight line towards the camera. However, the light from me is not just going forwards, it is also going out to the sides and out behind, which is why I can be seen from different camera angles. This week, I'm going to show you some science magic tricks that involve using a trick of light which is called refraction. This is when light bends when it travels through a medium which is not air. The first trick I'm going to show you is known as the disappearing coin trick. On the counter in front of me, I have a £2 coin. I'm going to put a glass on top of it, and then I'm going to put a tea plate on top of the glass. And you can still see the coin through the glass when you look down at it. Now I'm going to move the tea plate to the side, pour water in the glass, put the tea plate back on, and look back through the side of the glass and see what has happened to my £2 coin. You'll notice now that the water has been poured in and the plate has been put back on top that it looks like the coin has disappeared from underneath the glass. However, if you take the plate back off the top, the coin will reappear. You'll be able to see it high up in the water. To start with, when the glass was empty, light was able to reflect from the coin straight up through the glass and into your eyes. However, when you pour the water in and put the plate back on top, the light that is coming from the coin is being bent by the water. Light doesn't travel in a straight line through water the same way as it does through glass. It bends as it hits the water. This is scattering the light from the coin and forcing it away from the direction that it would take to get to your eyes, and that is why you cannot see the coin through the side of the glass. When you take the plate back off the top of the glass, you can see a reflection of the coin sitting up near the top of the water, and this is the path that the bent light has been taken. Rather than coming through the side of the glass to your eyes, the light has been bent by the water and pointed upwards towards the top of the glass. So that is the trick of the disappearing coin. For the next experiment, I'm going to see if I can make a plastic dropper change its appearance in different liquids using the refraction of light. So in front of me, I've got a glass which is half full of water, and a glass which is half full of vegetable oil. First, I'm going to take the plastic dropper and place it inside the glass of water and look at its appearance through the glass. You'll see that the plastic dropper shows up quite clearly that it is in there. Now, I'm going to squeeze the top of the dropper and let it go so that it sucks up some water. And now let's look at how it appears differently from when it didn't have water in it to now when it's got water in it. You'll notice that when the dropper is first put into the water without any water in it, you can see quite a lot of the details of the dropper. However, when you suck up the water, you can only see the ghost of the dropper, that is, the outline, which shines out and the rest appears to have disappeared. Next, I'm going to see how the dropper looks when it is placed in the glass with oil. So again, I'm going to put the dropper into the glass and see how it looks through the oil. And then I'm going to squeeze the top of the dropper to suck up some oil and let's look at its appearance now. At first you can see a lot of the detail of the dropper, however then when you suck up the oil, again you can only really see the outline of it. This happens because the light that is inside the water or inside the oil is being refracted. You'll notice as well that the dropper seemed to swell in size. This is because of the refraction of the light inside the water and inside the oil, which makes things magnify and look bigger than they actually are. At first you can see the details inside the dropper, whether it's in the water or in the oil, because the dropper has nothing in it. So the light that reaches the dropper is not being refracted, it's being reflected back. 
However, when you fill the dropper with water or fill the dropper with oil, the light that now reaches the dropper is also being refracted by the water or oil inside the dropper. This refraction, the bending of light away from the details of the dropper, is why you can then only see the outline of the dropper, because all of the inside details, the light that is coming from them, is being bent by the water or oil that is now inside the dropper. The final trick this week is going to show you how refraction, the bending of light through water, can change the appearance of an image. For this, I've got an empty glass, some sheets of paper, a sharpie and a jug of water. The first thing I'm going to do is take a sheet of paper and my pen and draw an arrow which is not much wider than the glass. You'll see that the arrow I've drawn is pointing to my right, which is your left. I'm going to hold this arrow just behind the glass and gradually pour in some water from the jug and watch what happens to my arrow. You'll notice that my arrow now appears to be pointing to my left, which is your right. This is because the light that is entering the water is being bent towards the middle and out the other side. So the light that enters the right of the water is being pulled to the middle and bent out to the left, and the light that's entering the left of the water is being pulled to the middle and bent out towards the right. So when you look at it from the other side of the glass, you see the image switched round because that light has travelled through the middle and is shining out to you from the opposite side from where it started. It's not just simple shapes like arrows it works with, it also works with letters as well. Here I've got STEM with Mr N written backwards. I'm going to hold it on the other side of the glass and use the refraction of light to turn STEM with Mr N backwards round the right way. This one's a really fun one to do at home because you can get creative with it. It doesn't need to just be as simple as an arrow or some letters, although it can be tricky to write the letters backwards. Draw pictures and see how they respond to the refraction of light as it gets bent passing through the water and out the other side into your eyes. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here to the other STEM demonstrations I've done so far. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring refraction, the bending of light.